there! In today's video, we are going to go over two little exercises that will help your neck feel better um, if you have some mechanical neck pain. But if you do have mechanical or any type of neck pain, I would like you to talk to your doctor or your healthcare provider first because I do not know you, <laughs> although I'd like to meet you. But anyway, this, uh, the exercises we're going to do today, again, follows the same theme that I've talked about in previous videos, is that a lot of neck and back pain can be prevented if we work on the endurance of the muscles that surround our core. Now, we have core in our lumbar region or our low back area, but we also have a core in our neck too, which is kind of fascinating. So in the core of our neck, we have muscles in the front of our neck and muscles in the back of our neck. So these muscles work together to keep your neck happy and balanced. And what's really cool about these two little exercises is that they're really simple and you can do them easily throughout the day and they won't take too much of your time unless I keep talking about it. <laughs> so the first exercise um, is working the muscles in the back of your neck, okay? So these muscles uh, are important for keeping your posture upright. To do this, first try and have good posture the best you can. I'm gonna link that up here. There's a little round circle if you wanna learn more detail how to have good posture. But basically, I don't want you doing this exercise like this, okay? Sit up nice and tall. So what you're gonna do with this uh, neck extensor isometric exercise, say that five times, is you're gonna take your hand and place it in the back of your neck, and you're going to be resisting with this hand the movement of your neck going backwards, okay? So I don't want your head to move backwards because your hand's gonna stop you. And it's gonna be such a small contraction, you may not even feel like you're doing anything, but you are. And so take your hand and put it on the very top of your neck, just so you just start to feel your head or your skull, okay? And you're gonna try and look back like this, but you're not going to because your hand's gonna stop you. And just resist, and you're gonna hold that for a count of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, very good. It should not cause any pain, okay? If you feel any pain, please stop, okay? Um, I'll do it from the side so you can get a perspective of what I'm doing from the side. So you're going to sit up nice and tall, and you can do the standing too, of course. You're gonna put your hand at the base of your head at the top of your neck and you're gonna try and bring your head back but you're gonna resist yourself this neck so you're gonna push back ten nine eight seven I'm not going like this I'll keep my head straight up and down five four three two and one very good that was an exercise to work the muscles in the back of your neck, but not just any muscles, there's a specific muscle that it's working. If you have your hand on the top of your head, it's going to be too generalized and not work the specific muscle that will help you with when you have neck discomfort. And let's go over the next exercise. Actually, let me go on a little rant first. <laughs> but uh, um, even if you don't have any neck pain right now, and I pray that you never get neck pain, um, it wouldn't hurt to do these exercises because I am seeing more and more younger people in the physical therapy clinic with neck problems. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that everyone has a phone and they're looking down like this. I mean, look how far my head is over my shoulders. That's going to cause all sorts of problems in the neck. So if you don't have any neck pain, that's awesome. Do these exercises because it'll help prevent neck pain in addition to making sure that your body mechanics are correct and you're looking at your phone like this. When I see people walking down the street like this, I just wanna <laughs> smack them and tell them to sit up straight. Actually, I would never smack them. Um, anyway, let's go to the second exercise, which involves lying down on your back. Now you can lie on the floor or in a firm mattress. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And you're gonna bend your knees to protect your low back. Okay. Now. With this exercise, while it's pretty easy, you want to make sure that these muscles right here, so when I lift my head up, you see these, this nice muscle right here popping out? That's your 
sternocleidomastoid muscle, or your SCM for short, you don't want to activate these muscles. These muscles are already tortured all day long if you sit in front of a computer. So you want these guys to stay relaxed, okay? And you're going to basically tuck your chin like this, almost like you're nodding and saying, yes, I love to do posture exercises. So it's kind of like a nod, okay? So you're gonna do a little chin tuck or a nod, and you're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, nice and relaxed here, three, two, one, good. So these guys stayed relaxed. You didn't see them popping out like, like now, they're popping out. So you want them to stay nice and relaxed because you're really trying to activate the muscles in the deep neck, not the superficial neck flexors, okay? Let's try it again. 10, nine, eight, seven, nice and soft, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Okay, so in the research study, and I have that linked in the description box below, you'll see a little gray arrow, you can click that, there's all lots of goodies in there, <laughs> but um, if you wanted to read the research study. In the research study, the participants got rid of their neck pain after six weeks of doing those two little exercises twice a day. That's not bad, because it really only, well they did it uh, 10 times each, so about two minutes for the um, resisted isometrics and about two minutes for the chin tuck or the nodding down below. So that's not too bad to have a happier neck after that short period of time. So I hope you give them a try and incorporate them in your day. Um, and I think that'll really help you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to help you if I can. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.